What conspiracy theory do you believe in the most? That the US government has staged attacks to justify war. USS Maine, it exploded and sunk due to mismanagement and faulty things. They used that to blame Spain. Not really one single conspiracy theory but I do feel like seemingly, quite often if a big political scandal is breaking, something tends to happen that dominates the news cycle for a little bit. A shooting, celebrity controversy, something. That is just basic political game. If something looks bad for political party A then supporters and media of political party A push other news first and search for something bigger. Also supporters of that political party runs to other news to keep their political bias in check. Nothing happens at Area 51. It's a chunk of highly protected land with nothing on it. Like, if you were gonna do shady government things would you do it in the place where everyone knows you're doing something? Area 51 is just a cover up for a base elsewhere in the country, nah it probably has stuff. Just regular stuff toe. It's 100% a military installation. Though probably the only real secret stuff there is the advanced jets they test. The government has admitted to testing the first stealth fighter there. I just don't think they have aliens or alien crafts there. Coca-Cola tested HFCS in place of sugar and found that while the taste was similar, people could tell the difference. They brought out new coke to cleanse people's palates and waited until as much of the original formula products had been sold as they could. Then they cancelled new coke and brought back coke classic, which was the HCFS version and people didn't have any original stuff left to compare it to. The only reason they made new coke was to act as a buffer so people wouldn't notice the change in ingredients. I absolutely hate HFCS in my drinks. I went to Indy over the winter, over there almost every soda has cane sugar as the sweetener, and I just can't deal with eating corn as my sugar. There's too much fucking corn in American food. I'll have to find the Twitter thread that documents all the uses we've found for corn and how it's in almost everything we eat. Mexican coke is made with cane sugar and I can find it in glass bottles in almost every gas station in California. Area 51 is just a front that was allowed to become popular in the public eye, but actually has nothing of value. Not saying aliens in bases exist, just saying Area 51 is allowed to be the popular secret base, thing to cover up actual secrets. I must correct my previous statement, Camp David is a retreat, not an emergency location. However, that could also be a front. Also not downplaying what the airmen at 51 do, just saying that what they do now is not likely as top secret as people are led to believe. There was a Reddit armor with a guy who was verified Korea CIA. When asked about Area 51, he said it exists to keep you from asking about Area 52 edit, here's a link, found by a Redditor and linked below. Area 51 is just there to make you ignore Area 52, https colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash i arm slash comments slash a 8 co 3 j slash i underscore am underscore andrew underscore boostamante underscore a underscore former underscore covert underscore cia slash s a 3 m 2 g Utm underscore medium equals android underscore app and utm underscore source equals share. What a sneaky way to cover up Area 53. KFC has been intentionally making their biscuits drier to sell more drinks. They have free refills, so it would be better for them to have moist biscuits less refills. I think I am going to hear about the term moist biscuits. Greater than moist biscuits. Now I know you'll be loving this shit right here. That a lot of the challenges, like the 10 year challenge, are orchestrated by big tech companies in order to gather data to develop AI. I don't think they'd need to orchestrate anything, especially at this point. Google and Facebook have been collecting and analyzing everything they can get their hands on for well over a decade at this point. Facebook doesn't need users to post pictures of themselves from 10 years ago, because Facebook already has the pictures they posted 10 years ago. Marilyn Monroe was absolutely killed by the government. She had to be murdered. Nothing adds up. Too many people in the house at weird times, too many people mad at her, too many stories changing. 
All those DNA ancestor sites are giving the government your DNA for their record. I mean that's literally how they caught the Golden State Killer, like 30 years later. Just got another dude, also from Sacramento, for a series of rapes in the 90s via the same method last week edit, link here https colon slash slash fox40.com slash 2019 slash 07 slash 01 slash officials announce arrest of man suspected in 1990s Sacramento area rape cases slash ampi slash you guys remember the end of the world theory that the rapture would happen on May 21, 2011? Macho Man Randy Savage died on May 28, 2011. Basically Macho Man Randy Savage died to save humanity, shouldering all of our sins. Oh ye ah 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 ah. Music feuds don't exist. They are created by record labels. Anybody who thinks Taylor Swift and Katy Perry were feuding are morons. It is a marketing stunt. Their record labels create these feuds to sell music. When Taylor fans think Katie does a song about her they all buy the song to see what she is saying then buy her album to find more songs that they think are about Taylor and the exact same thing for Katie fans. They are given generic songs to sing that people just assumed are about the other but in reality aren't about anybody. Same goes for rap feuds. A up and coming rapper feuds with a more successful rapper to gain popularity just as that more successful rapper did when they were coming up. All these feuds are just to sell more music. Moon's Haunted and NASA is covering it up. There is a horror movie about this, it's a found footage movie about the real last trip we made to the moon and is supposed to explain why we never went back edit I mentioned the title in a few comments below mine but it's called Apollo 18 for those curious about the movie. Last movie I ever bought at a red box. Wish I remembered what it was called. It was dumb and lots of fun. That Avril Lavigne died in the mid-2000s and her record label hired someone who looked like her to take over her career. You mean to tell me she's had a career since the mid-2000s? She played one of the possums in Over the Hedge. That our phones are always recording, at least audio, to target advertising of course, but more secret agent things as well. My mother-in-law talking at dinner about how hard it is to train for a marathon now that she's over the age of 55. I get ads all over reddit slash google slash whatever that read over 50 and a runner. Check out this random product. Within 4 hours of the conversation. I know there was a bunch of stuff about this, but I think every company denied it. Could be wrong though. I remember a couple years back I had a pain in the back of my mouth and went to the school nurse and told her I thought it was my wisdom teeth coming in, it was. A couple minutes later, my Instagram explore page had a bunch of stuff about wisdom teeth removal. I was talking to my mom the other day about getting a present for someone leaving our office, my mom and I work in the same office, and we decided on naming a star after them. Opened up my phone and instantly saw an ad for the star naming site. I literally listed the suggested. To this day my weirdest experience in this was over Christmas. My mom got my mother-in-law Omaha steaks as a gift. I called my mother-in-law to make sure she got it and said how much she loves Omaha steaks. I get off the phone and open Facebook and the first immediate ad was for Omaha steaks. Something fucking weird is happening with YouTube kids r slash Elsagate. I totally agree. Who the hell sits down at their computer and says him I'll make a children's animation about Mickey Mouse chopping off Elsa's head. And then posts it on YouTube and has it targeted at kids. If it's for ad revenue then they could put in way less effort for the same payoff because kids will watch anything. Like those unboxing videos that I'm pretty sure toy companies promote because kids of cord cutters aren't seeing commercials anymore. Sort by controversial. Done. Mostly 9-11. That people give themselves reddit gold to make their comment slash post seem more important. If you had gold on this it'd be perfect. The recommended amount to use in laundry detergent cups are 30% higher than necessary. Edit, thank you stranger for the silver. My very first. The toothpaste commercials show them coating the whole brush in a little caterpillar sized blob of toothpaste, but really you only need a tiny pea sized amount. 
They also only put foaming agents in soap and shampoo to give the user a tactile sensation, and the amount of suds your soap produces is really mostly just for funsies, so you'll use too much at once, run out sooner, and buy more more often, it's the surfactants that really have the washing properties. Edit, this random toothpaste comment blew up. Weird. Funsies needs to be used more often. I think some memes are started by businesses as a form of free advertising. The recent Duolingo memes got me thinking more about it. Duolingo wasn't a small app at the time, but it became a lot more popular after the fact. There have been other memes revolving around a particular product slash brand as well that make me think this is happening on a strategic level beyond some kid thinking it'd be hella funny to do this or that. I'm pretty sure this was happened with the movie Bird Box. It was all over Twitter and other social media before I even heard anything about it from Netflix. That's just a well-made marketing campaign. I believe that the government probably makes some conspiracy theories to try to make questioning the government seem somewhat crazy. I heard this recently about reptilians. Me, yeah there's no such thing as reptilian aliens running our government and business. My lizard, yes you are correct human friend now I must topple a government. I mean eat this fly. Not so much a conspiracy theory as a little known fact, because the head of the CIA admitted it, but the USA orchestrated a coup of the Prime Minister of Australia in 1975. Wait what? Was it because of Vegemite? I don't know if this is a slash s yes or not, but I'm gonna take this opportunity to explain as best I can. The Prime Minister at the time, Gough Whitlam, was trying to make sure that Australia independently mined their coal and sold it to other countries. Other countries, mainly the US at the time did not like this, as they liked their cheap coal. So, the CIA ran an intense campaign to convince the Governor General to dismiss Whitlam. He was replaced by Malcolm Fraser who, surprise surprise, allowed the US to continue to get its cheap coal. The repercussions of this are still here in Australia, too. The major media outlets still relay lies about what Whitlam did, but have transferred it to whole Labour Party. And Australia's now in severe debt, partly due to the fact that we gave away our most powerful resource for practically nothing. Edit largely, greater than partly. Edit our scooter to vote out, greater than GG to dismiss editor K since it's been mentioned a couple times and I'd love to have a morning, I recommend watching, this video https colon slash slash m dot youtube dot com slash watch. V equals 4 dpx 4 o underscore u a g g, if you want to do some further research. Be warned it is very Australian humor so it's not for everyone, but I do think it sums up what happened to Whitlam pretty well. My dog is still living on a farm somewhere, 47 years later. This is true. Can confirm. Don't ask why or how, too dangerous. I've already said too much. A doge points sniper are you ahead. Marshmallow doesn't actually produce his own music. My biggest piece of evidence is the creator arcade videos, he speaks and navigates Ableton like someone with only a basic knowledge of music production, he does everything number by number, producers don't do that, you can't just instantly know that sound needs a boost of exactly 1 dB at exactly 1.2 kHz without even listening to the sound first, he randomly pauses every now and then, presumably to be fed lines, and he seems to lack even a basic understanding of music theory, recreating MIDI by randomly clicking in notes with no regard for the key of the song. Someone with the level of skill he demonstrates should not be capable of making radio quality hits. His song Friends with Anne Marie is literally just a stock beat he got from a stock website he just added the kick. That's crazy, can you link to a source? The military shot down United Airlines 93 over Pennsylvania on the 11th of September. They knew it was hijacked and on its way to Washington DC and scrambled jets were right next to it when it went down. Plus several witnesses saw an explosion in the sky before it crashed. Totally justified given everything happening that day but the government would never want to admit it shot down a commercial aircraft full of innocent Americans over America. Greater than but the government would never want to admit it shot down a commercial aircraft full of innocent Americans over America. Not if they can blame it on something else. 
but no government will say no to bringing down a hijacked plane that isn't listening to commands. Michael Bay is a genius auteur who makes shitty movies on purpose. It's like his own little societal experiment, where he sees how shitty he can make a movie that still makes money, all while making fun of his audience for his own personal amusement. I like this one. I believe that the company 23andm will sell our information to insurance companies and medical companies in the future. Like the CEO was Anne Wojcicki married to Google co-founder Sergey Brin. Edit, Anna Wojcicki and Sergey Brin are in fact not married. Is Anne the sister of YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki? They sure keep the power in the family, don't they? Yes. Truly a great coincidence for them to lead two massive companies. The art world is basically a low-key way for rich people and companies to launder money, which is why the stupidest most odd of paintings randomly go for hundreds of millions of dollars. I don't think that's a conspiracy theory so much as it is straight up reality. The very wealthy, like, generationally wealthy, are known to put their money in art because it can't be taxed the same way and it generally appreciates rather than depreciates. There are only so many Monets and Berninis. But if you can spin a good story any Joe Schmo can be the next war hole. Yes, I'm a poor Philistine. Two related to the US military. And NBSP, the US government pushed high school football on kids to get them in shape during the Cold War. And NBSP, the US government doesn't have free tuition for colleges due to many members of the military joining specifically to get college paid for. It would massively decrease the enlisted count. Greater than the US government doesn't have free tuition for colleges due to many members of the military joining specifically to get college paid for. It would massively decrease the enlisted count. People who oppose free college often argue that it would hurt military enlistment, so I don't even know if this is a conspiracy. Just a little known conflict of interest. The military literally put out a statement saying that tuition-free colleges would hurt their recruitment regime and thereby pose a threat to national security. Planned obsolescence, if it's still a conspiracy theory. Why does my phone suddenly develop unseen issues when the new one is released? It's not a coincidence. And who even asked for these tech companies to release a new phone every year? We live in a time where technology is now growing at a rather slower pace compared to the 2000s when there was rapid innovation. It's not like my current phone is getting crappier in one year, but wait, it is. Applies to phones, tablets, smartwatches, basically most, rather expensive, internet-connected devices receiving updates. I would say mattress firm, but that shit is so 2018. There's a great breakdown of this conspiracy on YouTube. Basically the mattress firm across the street from a mattress firm used to be owned by a competing company, was bought up, and converted. Unlike something like a restaurant mattress stores don't need heavy traffic to operate at a profit. People go to the mattress store when they need a mattress, not because they feel like it, so the locations are pretty cheap. So the conspiracy is that a company bought out their competition, 